My name is Juan Carlos Di Drobo, and I am an electron microscopy at Doug Bridge National Lab. And what I do is basically I take pictures of atoms because my mission is to understand how materials behave, atom by atom, and how to make those materials better, stronger, lighter, more reliable in general. Why this is important? Because I think one of the greatest challenges facing our time, our society, is to achieve an energy sustainable world. And the way that you do it is by producing with materials, because those materials are the ones that are going to be used in the technologies in the future to achieve that goal, to have a world that is energy sustainable. The tool that I use is an electron microscope. Imagine the fanciest camera that you can have to take pictures. Well, this, this electron microscope, it is like that, is that the fanciest camera that you can have, but with the idea that instead of taking pictures of very big things, you take pictures of materials at atomic scale. So you can see every single atom, where every single atom is in the material, and you can measure its properties. We collaborate with people all across the lab in different expertise, either computational, neutrons, um, uh, materials designs. They give us the materials, we tell them how the material looks like, and they go back to the whiteboard and they make the material better. And we need to have a different characterization technique besides electron microscopy that can give us the information about, for instance, how the material behaves at different temperatures, then they use this other characterization technique within the lab. There was one where we were able to observe how a single impurity, a single atom, bonds in a material and we could differentiate between whether it is bonded, surrounded by three atoms and by four atoms. And the thing is, this is something that is in the textbooks, but it has never been observed before experimentally. So we'll be able to take, a, take the images of how this atom is located when it's surrounded by three other atoms on graphene, or whether it's surrounded by four other atoms in graphene, on what is the electronic structure, how it is bonded, how the electrons are shared between each other. So that is one of the things that we did at this fundamental level, something that you read in the high school textbooks but never observed before. So one of the good days is when you work in the, in the instrument, in the microscopes, doing experiments for 12 hours, and after 12 hours you have anything, you have zero data, and then in that uh, 12 hours and one minute you find the information that you want to get and then you spend another three hours working to get that data and after you are done you know that just because you push that extra limit that you know you work a little bit harder you got what you wanted to get. We have observed a new physical phenomena that nobody else in the world have done it before. Observe it experimentally and we have the calculations to back up those experimental data. You are like wow this is cool this is really cool because uh, you are at the edge of the scientific knowledge. I have been everywhere else in the world. I have been in Japan, Europe, and different national labs within the uh, United States. And the best place to do electron microscopy at the level that we do it, and to see materials atom by atom, the best place to do it is here at Oak Ridge National Lab. There is no questions about it.